a brother who shared his concern that he committed many sins. I've heard this many times. He said, I've committed so many sins and not that many good deeds. He's like, I have five prayers and that's it a day. And I'm barely like struggling to just fulfill these five prayers, but I'm committing so many sins. I feel like I gossip a lot. I lie a lot. I listen to things I shouldn't listen to. He's like, I just, I feel like I'm committing way more sins than good deeds. And I'm trying to improve. I am trying to repent. This was a beautiful opportunity. The next time you think of this, or you know someone who is, to remind them of the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that has good news for all people. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has recorded good and evil deeds and made them all clear. Whoever intends to perform a good deed but does not do it, Allah will record it as a complete good deed. So you intended, for example, to uh, bring a cup of water to your family member who is thirsty or to your parent. You, a good deed. And along the way, something else interrupted you, something else happened, or they got their own water. You're like, oh, khalas, it didn't work out. You still got the reward because you intended it, although you did not do it yet. Were you sincere? Yes, you sincerely wanted to do it. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us through the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, that if that person intends to do it and they go through with it, they actually are able to do it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will record it. Pay attention. This is going to just blow you away in terms of the generosity of Allah. Allah will record it as 10 good deeds for one thing you did or up to 700 times as much or even more. Allahu Akbar, you can do a single good deed and be rewarded possibly 700 times as much because of the level of your sincerity and many other factors behind the scenes. And then what happens here? Prophet Sallallahu says, now if that servant intends to do something evil, and then does not do it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will record it for him as one complete good deed. But why did they not do this sin? They stopped for the sake of Allah. They didn't stop because, let's say, somebody opened the door so that they stopped talking to someone on the phone or they were listening to something haram and somebody found them and then they changed it to Quran. No, they stopped a sin for the sake of Allah so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them a good deed. And this is someone who did not yet commit the sin. They intended to do something bad, but they did not. If he does it, then Allah will record it for him as a single evil deed. A sin is going to be punished with one, one uh, basically, uh, deed, one uh, sayya. Whereas the good deed that you do and the good deed that you intended but could not do and you tried your best, you'll be rewarded for it with a multiplier of 10 minimum, 700 or even more. Is Allah not generous?